Hey, what's happening, Tess? This is from my friend Tess, who, uh, um, first of all, sorry, Tess, for taking so long. I um, wanted to give you a couple of bass lessons. Um, Tess is starting bass, and that's really cool. And this is basically for anyone. I'm just doing a couple of, of quick little practices, lessons, whatever you want to call it, exercises. The first thing, um, um, plucking with these two fingers. I'm going to get a little close up so you can see. Oh, wrong one. Just kind of a slide. You know, don't go like that. It's kind of boom, boom, like that. Just kind of slide and that'll help. So, each string, you know. Okay, the second exercise, start from the very uh, first fret here. These are frets, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, all the way up to octave right here, the two dots, the octave, and it starts all over again. So, then go to the next fret. And this will help stretch your fingers out to know where they're going to be and to what to feel like actually when you're learning guitar, uh, bass and do it all the way up I mean, way up here you know i know it's boring but it'll only help it, uh, it only helps third thing is your scales okay just for right now learn the major scale and you know it da 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 so start with i'm just going to start on the on the G, which is the third fret E string, and I forgot to say the the string. So open. This is E, A, D, G. E A D G. Okay. So start on the E string, G, which is the third fret. Okay. You could um, do it on two strings. Do a whole step, another whole step, and then okay. Or you could do it like this. Okay, so I do it right here, all on the hand. It's, it's called in the box. Um, it's it's the easiest way for me, but of course it's good to know all the same notes on different strings and different frets. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And it's very important to know your major scale. Chords are based off the scale, so. You just know in the major scale, you're going to know a lot more when you go to the next step of, of learning learning an instrument, really. So a lot of songs, a lot of pop songs are one, four, five. So you got one, four, five. For instance, watch. One, four, five. Hang on, sloop it, sloop it, hang on. You know that one. How about, no, how about, uh, a la 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 bomba, a la 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 bomba. Okay, here's another one, one more. Shake it on, baby, now shake it on, baby, twist and shout. So much is, is based on the one, four, five, so. That's off the major scale. Learn that. And go every, every fret. Pick a random one, you know? Okay, pick just everywhere. You gotta go from the bottom to the top. The last thing I wanna show you 
is uh, almost one of the most important things, which I've, I've, I've showed so many people who are interested in learning bass and guitar, any instrument, is rhythm, okay? you got to have rhythm. You can know every scale, every note on a bass, every chord in a guitar, but if you don't got rhythm, you don't get the gig. The way you build up rhythm, which has helped me throughout the years, especially in the beginning, is is just muting your, your, your guitar. That means just barely pushing on the strings, muting it, and then put on a song, or just put on a, a, a beat, and then go with the beat. So if there's a song playing, you just... Just go with the beat. Find the beat. Find the rhythm in that song. From the beginning of the song to the end of the song. And then even do a pluck to mimic the rhythm. And just, again, from the beginning to the end of the song. And just that will build up your rhythm. And, and, and choose different songs with different rhythms. Like one, two, three, you know. Okay, that'll help. That'll help so much. You got to build that rhythm. That's that's probably one of the most important things. So with all that, there's four things I just went over: the plucking, and all the fingers in each fret. Okay, and then the scale. And then rhythm. And 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 those easy practices exercises will will help you go to the next level all right rock on